You know, I'm the most happy when I'm dancing around with a glass of wine in the kitchen. Welcome, Gongers. I am back. And if you haven't watched this show before, I'm Debbie Wong. Okay, I thought I would make something comforting, seasonally appropriate, and, well, seasonally appropriate. I'm in Hong Kong right now, and it's not that cold. But I know most of you guys are freezing your asses off, and you want something comforting, warm, tastes like it's simmered all day, but really, only took like half an hour? I got you. I got you. I'm gonna be making my quickie chicken noodle soup with tips on how to give it that all day simmered taste. So, nothing more to say, let's do it. One pot. This is a one. Ooh. Is this so? Holy shit! Is this on? Why is it warm and shit? Step one is also tip one for giving the soup that all-day simmer taste. I'm gonna start it not with oil, but with some nice, good quality butter. Okay. Recently, I've discovered really good quality butter. In the past, I just went to the store and I just got the cheapest one. But you know what? The French butter. Okay. Delicious. Okay, next I'm gonna throw in some vegetables. I have some carrots and I have some celery. You guys can really put in any vegetables you like, but I like to keep it classic. You know what I'm saying? Chicken noodle soup, there's nothing more classic than that. Okay, this is a really good tip for giving it that all day simmer taste and to have good taste in general. Season your food as you go. Okay, don't season it all at the end because it's feeling like, it's gonna feel like you're putting like tons of salt in it or something like that, and then it, it still doesn't taste good. You want to season as you go, so that you can taste every single component and it's all at its fullest potential. Does that make any sense? I hope it did. I happen to have homemade chicken stock over here. I know, I know. Y'all can do whatever you want. You can get the what am I trying to say? The carton and just. Given the soup a all day simmer taste, Parmesan rind. I'm using cooked chicken, ain't nothing wrong with that, and I'm just gonna cut it up. to get just about tender. Then I'm gonna throw in the noodles and the chicken at the same time because the chicken's already cooked. It's gonna take about six minutes to reheat. The noodles are gonna take about six minutes to cook. Shit, man. My time management skills are like on point right now. On fleek? Fleek. On fleek. You can kind of tell when they've like shrunken a little bit and like brightened in color. I have two bundles of fettuccine here. They're like egg noodles. I couldn't find the short egg noodles. You know those like cheap good ones? This is like some fancy ass fettuccine, but whatever. I'm gonna take the bundle and I'm gonna crush it. I'm so excited right now. As soon as the pasta is done, the soup is done. Easy. Easy peasy. Scoop it up. Oh my god. It's so good. I like I just want to like curl up right now and like watch Netflix. Alright guys, two tips to giving your soup the all-day simmer taste. Start with some good quality butter and throw in a Parmesan rind and woo, you're going to be so happy. I'm Debbie Wong, try my quickie chicken soup and I'll see you next time. <laughs>